You think that's as fast as you can go. That's Is it. that how you passive aggressively train people? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, Do I look cool? Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Wait, how come you look cool doing this? This is a sweating one? It might be. Because I'll just only put in a teeny bit of effort. Okay. Is that the goal? <laughs> Good, yeah. Minimal effort. Yeah. Well, hello out there. Tony Horton here. I'm with Leslie Liao. Pronouncing that properly? Correct. Yay. Hit like me. meow. Hit me. Like meow. I'm so weak already. Nice. <laughs> this is the weakest you are I find. Go you're going to I'll be, be fine. I'll you're going to be marvelous. I will. I will. Yeah. Meow. You know, <laughs> my name is Tony, so I go Tony. I'll remember it. Yeah. I'll remember it. Thank you. One. Thank you. Um, that interview was amazing. We're going to get into our little warm up first. And this okay. is called Tony's five minute workout. And I'll come in okay, here once love. in a while when I'm feeling verklempt and tired and sad and yeah. ornery. I have eight stations uh -huh. and we'll do five. Okay. And we'll warm up first. I do a minute each and I go about my day and I feel better. Okay. Because I know the yeah. mental and emotional what happens. Anyone me. can do five minutes, right? Yes, it's five minutes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, we'll give ourselves some room. So let's do some knee pulls. We're, we're going to do everything in eights. All right. So okay. here we go. Right leg first. Like dancing? And, yeah, exactly. One, Is that true? Two, <laughs> Just three. I didn't know that. Four. Like eight but, count. Eight count. Five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six. Maybe it was a dancer in the past leg. Seven and eight. Let's go for the hips. And one and two. Pull this it up inside. kind of hard already. Three. <laughs> You're doing great. Look, because it's balanced. Number four. I know that's important. Five, six, and seven, and eight. Now we'll get the hip flexors and the quads. We're going to grab the ankle. It goes like this. One, and two, and three. I wish there was some oh, music playing. Four. And four, and five. They'll put it in post. And six, <laughs> and seven, and eight. Now we're going to do some scoopers for the hamstrings. Down for one again. Down. You're killing it, by Is the it way. Is it supposed to Two. hurt? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. So you promise? Okay. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> Four. The warm up or the workout? And Just five. Physically and emotionally. <laughs> and six. Good. If you're emotionally hurt right now, <laughs> seven, that part I can't help you with, okay. unfortunately. And eight. All right, so we're just going to do a couple of little plie squats. We'll kind of face each other, you know, like that. Yeah, that's good. A little angle. Okay. So you're going to go down and reach up. Oh, and get on your toes. That also hurts. Down. Do you do morning? Is this a morning thing? Uh, this is a morning thing. Oh my god. Or it's any like for me, it's only five minutes, right? So I'll do it. Yeah. Throughout the day, I get just like, uh oh, I'm getting that two o'clock, you know. The slump. The slump. The two o'clock slump. So instead of taking a nap, which seems very appealing on some days, I don't know what number on, but we'll just do a couple more. Just like Down. fifty more. Fifty more. Yeah. Okay. That's your suggestion. I'm I'm out on that one. <laughs> I'll just watch you do it. And uh, okay, now you do any yoga ever? Um, I have done it. You have done it? I have done All it, right. not consistently. So we'll, we stand right there and we'll face them. Inhale, both those arms up. Inhale, and then exhale, bend at the waist, back is flat, hanging down. Good. And then inhale halfway, put your hands on your shins. Yeah, good. Legs are straight. Gorgeous. And then put the hands on the ground, step back to the top of a push-up. There we go. Elbows tight. This is Chaturanga. And this is up dog up here. Oh, I don't get to lay down. I was, yeah. about, I was about to lay down. Yeah, no. Nope, is no. that not? <laughs> you, you came so close. All right, and then a little half push up if you want, and then downward dog. Yay, good. Pedal the feet, the right one and the left one. Oh my gosh, am I sore? And the right one. Me too. It's a great shot of the top of our heads, which I'm sure <laughs> our audience is just <laughs> loving that. Tony's still got a full head of hair. That's nice to know. Good, and now just walk the feet into the hands. And then inhale up to halfway again. Hands are on your shins, back is flat, legs are straight. And then hang all the way down. And then reverse the swan dive all the way up. Oh my gosh. All right, now uh, under the chin here like that. We'll get that going. And then the elbow. The Tonight Show, you were on The Tonight Show. I was on The Tonight Show. I know. And you weren't even nervous. That just blows my mind. I wasn't. You said it was the perfect day. It was a very happy day. You know? Yeah, wow. And you just, and it's like, you know you're set. And you just go you know and you're go, set. right? Yeah. And that, those, those, those audiences are very receptive. They're very cool. They though. were amazing that yeah. night. Yeah, that I don't know stupid. if they were paid to be there. They were, they were amazing. <laughs> I think they were just wanting It looked to be like there. a TV audience, you know, like mm. a sitcom audience. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, wow, but they were awesome. So this is going to be the endless rope. Come on over here. I'm going to turn it on. All right. Now, I don't have a lot of tension on it. You can vary the attention. But oh. you're just going to reach as high as you can and pull as low as you can, as fast as you can 
for a full minute. Okay. All right. Does it tell me when it's a minute? It does. I, I can see it right there. It's that's right there. That's five seconds that I just. Okay. <laughs> so can I do fifty-five? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm taking. Right, okay, I'm great. Rid, okay, I'm just checking. Rid of that just one right just there. checking. What All do right. these other things tell you? Like oh, speed. Uh, okay. Yeah, speed and distance. Okay. And time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for asking. I'm gonna get right here. You go, and uh, okay. it's ready for you. And right? I just go. Just go. Oh, this yeah. isn't that. No, right? Watch me 30 seconds and I'm crying. <laughs> Honestly. Good. So is that, you think that's as fast as you can go? That's is it. Is that how you passive aggressively train people? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. I'm looking for a result. Wait, oh! wait, what? Is, oh! it, is it better to go faster or just stay at a consistent speed? Well, it depends on your objective, what you're looking to try to do. I'm looking right? to just you, you wake burn, up. Burn the most cat. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly why I come in here and do this. Yeah. Just, I don't go crazy here. But your pace is good. I also, like you're doing. it depends on like how angry I am. Oh, all right. If I'm let, <laughs> let's let's say we're this is an acting exercise. Uh, okay, um, Leslie, you're super angry while pulling the rope and show. Yes. <laughs> okay, Great. that's hard. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. By the way, that's 45 seconds. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, can we have a countdown when I'm done? Ready? And 10, <laughs> like nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my god, I did a minute? Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, you didn't fall over or throw up or pass out or anything. No. Yeah. It's hard. But you, it, it's hard. It's yeah. hard. It's hard. Yeah, fitness is kind of hard. It, it is. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. <laughs> yeah. But you work out. I do work you know, out, but just... I don't. I want to do this stuff more. I do like basic, like weight right, train, right, like right, right. a squat here and there. Wait till we're going to finish the coup de grace. Okay. Is animal flow at the, at the end of this. Okay, that sounds so You don't scary. even know what I'm saying. I don't. It's completely foreign, but it's very cool. Okay. And it's challenging. Okay. But when it's challenging, you know, yeah. things can I really- get stronger. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay. And we all know that it's about the mental and emotional too. Yes. Especially being on stage. You wanna, yeah. Right? I want to stay like sharp. Sharp. Alert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, the audience is part of that energy, right? It's like, I do. Uh -oh. Yeah. Then you, you know, how do you get them up? How do you get them going? I do have an athlete mentality. Mm. But none that's of the a, physical qualities. That's me. No, it's not. Yes, no, it was. Not. I was a. I had a two left feet. I had. I had, yeah. a, I had a horribly low pain threshold. I hated being bad at stuff. Yeah. I was the laziest kid in the world. I slept till three o'clock in the afternoon. That sounds and then I nice. Realized that's not going to be much of a life in the end. You know. Yeah. So. And I a five. And a four. And a three, two, one, go. Yeah. Good. Oh wait. Good. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Good. Yeah, that's it. Keep it coming. I like that energy. Good. <laughs> Breathe. I'm like, who yeah. do I hate? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not <laughs> okay. me. Good. Oh, so getting some close for some hooks and uppercuts there. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Good. You Turn... do this in the morning? Anytime. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Turn your wrist down a little bit more when you throw that punch. Yeah. There. Yeah. Better. Down. Better. 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 And you want to hit with the the front surface. That's 30 seconds. You're halfway there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that 10 second count. Ah, I like the uppercuts. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm gonna do that 10 second count. I'm gonna try to like move it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Does that do anything? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure it does. It's like pushing a rock up a hill. Yeah. You know, are you, are you ready for the countdown? Give me all the energy you got. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and no. good. Do oh, we have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> <laughs> you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can have okay. a, a big range of motion or none if you want. Right. All right. And That's I'm going to hit this thing. Listen, listen what she says. Climb on me. What do these say? I'm going to help you learn how to. These are, yeah. You want to you climb Everest today or Whitney or, or no, K2? I, I take the elevator to the second floor, right. so I don't know <laughs> if this. All right. So try just going up and down. Jesus. That's it. Yeah, make Wait, it smaller. Do I look cool? Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Wait, how come you look cool doing this? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm you been, know what? I've been doing it for forty. I want to take a class on how to look cool working out. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Not just the workout. Also, oh, it's more legs, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did we start the clock? No, no. You're just, you're Are you just, serious? We're rehearsing. Are we actually <laughs> shooting? Oh, right. Okay, we are right, starting right, the clock. Right, nice so, try, Tony. Yeah, yeah. We're at 50 seconds, right, guys? All right, everyone count. I, I, will, I will look. I will look. <laughs> Wait, where is it? You're, at, there... you're at 36 look. right now. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. There it is. Wait, do you listen to music? When I you do. do I have music crank it. What kind of music? Uh, everything from the 60s to now. 60s? Yeah, because I was born in the 50s. Like 60s, what genre? Uh, Zeppelin, The Who. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Beatles, yeah. Stones. 
Yeah, five. That's a vibe. Four, three, two, and. Oh my God, we did it. Okay. One. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't that bad, but. Right? I could have done better, but you know. But it's your first time. I did it. Do you don't want to judge the first time? I always do that, but. <laughs> don't judge. No judge. That's judging. how I do comedy. Uh, you know what? That's, that's right. I always that's judge kind myself. of what comedy is, I guess. Well, what do you think? Three down, two to go. I can do this. I know I don't seem confident. <laughs> I mean? can do it. Yeah. I can do and, it. And you go to Orange Theory and you do rowing, right? I have done this before Orange Theory. I like it and it's very sweaty. Yeah, it can be. It can be. But we're only here a minute, so there won't be much. No, I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay. And, and by the way, you don't sweat. We don't want America to see that. No, no. Yeah, you're it's like, part of my contract. <laughs> no one can see me sweat. Stage and you stop bone. rolling yes. if I start sweating. Okay. We agree. All right. That's part of the deal. Okay. All right. So hop in. I'll, I'll lock you in. You lock your feet in. Lock I, me I, in. I don't know if you're. I don't know if your feet, if your machine you're used to is like this. So we want to make sure you're nice Something and Something like this. And there's your clock, doink, right there. All right. <clears throat> and then as soon as you go, I see all the zeros, as soon as you go, it will start. Do you think, do you care more about pace or I mean, speed? I care about whatever you feel like you want to do in this one minute that you have. Okay. Since it's only a minute, like when I come in here and I do this quick little routine, I mean, I'm hitting the bag, yeah. I'm pulling that rope, and yeah. I don't take much time in between, and I jump in here and go as hard as I can. All right, ready? Okay. And bang, go. Oh, oh, I see. Wait, was... Oh. All the numbers are confusing so me. So you're a ringer, I see. <laughs> that is your time right there. So that's 10 seconds. It's only 10 seconds. I know, but you're killing Is it bad that I ask how long it's been? No, you're doing, yeah. It's 18 20 seconds. seconds in. 20 seconds. So you can tell you've done this before. Your I've done pace it, not is in great, a while. your form is great, you're leaning back a little bit. I love how you know you're you're using your feet to pull yourself forward really, really good. Definitely taking advantage of this. And you know why you're good at this? Because you do it often. And if you did boxing often, you'd be good at it. If you did endless rope. Just, it adds, it's just like stand-up. Yeah. The more you do, the better the more you, you get. Do it. Isn't that weird? That's 45 seconds. Here comes the countdown. You ready? And three, two, ten. Nine, eight, seven, across the English Channel. Five, four, three, Did I sweat? two, and nope. perspiration! And time. Very good. Oh my God, okay. Wow. There you go, and you're free. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, God. yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not like. <laughs> oh, I got you, you're good, you're up. <laughs> Um, I can still walk, but yeah. That, I mean, yeah, I can't correct any of that. Your pace was amazing. It was that, good. What you did there is where you took advantage of the minute. Yeah. You know what I mean? You took yeah. advantage of, okay, it's a minute. I'm going to go for it. It's like, it's like you're going to run 100 meters. What, are you going to walk it? It's like, yeah. you, it's, a, it's a run. It's 100 meters. You go as fast as you can. I do like the five minutes because then you go hard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just as a, you know, is it going to burn a bunch of calories? Is it going to change your shape, you know, in no. a week if you do that all the time? It's just to energize your yeah. brain. So we have one more move. All right, okay. It's, it's going to be a, a tutorial here. Okay. And it's going to be a minute of... Crab to bear, bear to crab. Is this what? the hardest one out of it's all five? It's the hardest okay. one. Yeah. But okay. maybe it's equally hard to the bag because that requires some skill. Yeah. There's some skill here. Okay. But this is a compound movement series, meaning you're not just working your arms, you're not just working your legs, you're not just working your core. You're working everything. Okay. Right. You might sweat a little bit. This is the sweating one? It might be. Okay. But I, I trust that you won't. I got a feeling. Okay. Because I'll just only put in a teeny bit of effort. Okay. okay. Is that Good. the goal? <laughs> Good, yeah. Minimal effort. Yeah. Yeah, but that's kind of my brand. My brand too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll put this away and we'll be back in a sec. So here we go. Okay. We're going to start in bear. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Now, let me... So here's what's going to happen. All right. This left foot is going to go in between. It's going to go here like that. Try that. I know, but... Ah! Like that? No! Okay. It's perfect. Now take a left foot and put it back to there. Here. Oh, like the same? Okay. Yeah. Gorgeous. Now we're going to go this way. Right foot underneath that way. Right. Did we start the clock? <laughs> no, but what, really? the hell, what the hell? We're here. So right foot underneath. Ready? Bang. Now, okay. Great. Now left comes through. Crab. Awesome. Now left's going to go this way. Ready? Here. <laughs> Let's say that's 30 seconds. Right underneath and turn. Nice. Now right back underneath between the left and the, the left foot and the left hand here. All right, now the left is gonna go in between the right and the left here. Boom. 
You're good at this. Okay. And then let's go back the way we came. This foot goes underneath here. One more crab. Are we ready? Here comes right foot in between the left hand and left knee. Crab. Back to bear. Oh my god. Did we do it? Smack the hand. We did it? You did it. Oh my god. Was that really a minute? That was a minute. That was more than a minute. Really? Yeah. So in your hotel room. I just have to lay out a because hotel yeah. floors are like. I yeah. know, I know, I know. But uh, okay. Yeah. You bring your Swiffer with okay, you yeah. and do it that way. Okay. Um, I know, you are hands on the floor. And I had this sterilized before you came, by the way. Thank you so much. Yes, I had you. the entire crew sterilized. Perfect. Because they're you. a nasty, dirty Yes, lunch. I can tell. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. Um, congratulations. Oh my God, thank that you. That is Tony's five minute workout flying colors. And the thing that was the hardest one, you nailed that one. Because it helped because you were, I was copying you. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. But it helped. Yeah. I right. like it. Five minutes is doable. Right. It's doable. And then there's five minute routines that don't have any of this equipment involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, I just wanted to show you what my little thing is. Yeah. You know? It worked. Nice work. All right. I, am I am energized. You do feel different, right? I feel more out of breath than feel, I was before. Do you feel, Does that count? Do you feel funnier? No. Okay. <laughs> That'll come later. That'll come later. No. There you go. Oh, the last workout is standing up. I know. That was, that's, uh, that was number six. Standing. Well, there you have it. We everybody. did it? Yeah. Okay. Good work. Yay. Hello, power people. It is I, Tony Horton. You might know me from some of my past workout programs and my sports supplement brand, Power Life. Now, I've trained some of the biggest stars on the planet, from rock stars to action heroes. But between now and when I'm in my hundreds, I want to live large, I want to take charge, I want to feel good. And you can do it too. Oh, but Tony, I've never exercised a day in my life. Look at yourself in the mirror, and if it's not going the way you want to go, I'm here to help you do it, because I can. Anybody can do it. And if you're willing to take charge and feel good about your life, I don't care if you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, it can be done. All you got to do is train, and you've got to consume the right things to fuel your body so you have the energy and enthusiasm to show up day after day day after day. Trust me, it can happen. Do you really want me to flex? Hello everybody, Tony Horton here, and it's time for Power Up. Now today my guest is a bright, you can see by looking at her, funny up and coming comedian and she just made her TV debut on the Tonight Show. Like I'm so jealous, that's incredible. And is embarking on her very first nationwide tour. She also performs in her brand new Netflix series, Verified Stand Up. So it's been verified to stand up. It's verified. Oh, that's very, it's very confirmed stand up. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, ladies and Leslie Liao. Hello, Hello. thank you. Thank the official you. handshake. Thank you. Here, thanks for being on Power Up. Thank you. You know, we don't get fancy big shot guests who've been on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon very often. I mean, I'm honored. To be on this one or, or Fallon? This. You're so kind. I don't think I Checks am. Checks in the mail. The de <laughs> I don't think I'm the demo for this. Or I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a physical, I'm not known for my fitness, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. But I'm honored. I'm known for my fitness. I think you are. And being marginally funny at times. That's a great place but to I, be. But I just think what, where you are and what you're doing, I can't wait to talk about it. I can't wait to share your story with everybody at home. So first, I got to go tonight. show out of the box. All right. Uh, what was that like, getting that mm. call, finding out you're going on, like that whole day? I would assume that you were just petrified. I was not at all. Like, I was so happy that day. The Are you whole a day robot? was sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. And I, I wonder if I did that as like a defense thing. Hmm. So that when I got the call that they wanted to do it, I think it was a defense mechanism that I told myself it wasn't a big deal. In oh, my mind, wow. it was another gig. It was another reason to fly to New York. Wow. Another thing on the calendar. So I think it was a defense thing. But then when I started telling friends, family comics, they reacted like you. <laughs> They were like, of course the Tonight did. Show? And I was like, what? No one watches The Tonight Show. They're like, billions of people watch The Tonight I was like, no one remembers Jimmy Fallon. They're like, yes, we do. So yeah, It's good. You taught, yeah, you, yeah. you told it right now. Who's Fallon? Yeah. What's The Tonight Show? Like, Nobody's watching. Like, no I'll be one, fine. In my mind, I was like, everyone streams now. No one watches TV. But like, people still are very invested in it. Mm. So in my mind, I thought, not a big deal. I fly to New York the night before The Tonight Show. I rehearsed the set at the Comedy Cellar in New York, uh, which I've never done until oh. that night. So um, the booker, Michael, who's amazing from The Tonight Show, he just throws me on stage the night before to do the set. 
So I do the set like four times, like at all the different stages in the comedy cellar. Wow. The first time I did it, I did very well. So I was happy. Hmm. But to do a good live show, requires different like posture and cadence and rhythm than like a normal show at the And they told store. you that. The booker told you that. The booker was like, you need to smile more. Like he told me directly, wow. like clear note, like I needed to be like a beauty queen. Cause it's like for TV. I mean, obviously he knows what he's doing, but yeah. when I watched it, here's the first thing I thought. And like, you know, a lot of my friends are comics and I always wanted to be one, but I, you know, whatever. I'm doing, you turned out, this turned I out, think yeah. this is not doing Yeah, yet. I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not bummed out, you know what no. I mean? But I just love comics because they're just great company and they're just, yeah. I love turning a phrase and, and the arc of a joke. It's just the neatest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I watched you, I said, man, look, she's just having fun. You look like it was your 10th time on The Tonight Show when you were up there. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad you could tell because I, I didn't realize like, Leading up to the day, it was slowly dawning on me, oh, this is a big deal. So the lie I told myself of, it doesn't matter, it's a little open mic, you know what I mean? Who's gonna watch? Slowly the day, you know, you get your makeup done, you put your outfit on, you have your dressing room, you meet Jimmy. Like I met the Roots, the band for The oh, Tonight Show. Very cool. Like all the details, when he said my name, those little moments I was like, oh, I have to go do a set now. Like, So it was slowly dawning on me that it was happening. So. They put me backstage right before my set and it was like the first time I was really alone. Cause you know, like a wedding day, and I don't know why, I feel like it's so similar. Haven't had one yet, but you're always with people. You're with your family, you're with right. a planner, with your friends, you're with the They don't leave the bride whatever. in the room by herself. Like no. when is she ever alone? Right. So like the only moment I was alone was like right before the set. They put me in this little hallway, like the holding hallway. And then they put me backstage and the Roots are playing music, which they've never played before I did a set. So that that was like a moment. New stuff that's happening before you got to go on. A l new different stuff, which like we talked about this with fitness. If you like put yourself in a different environment, you kind of react different. Mm -hmm. So I've never did stand up before the Roots played live music. That was a first. Right, right. So but it put me in a really good mood because I could see them from backstage. And then another fun moment was like when they hand me the mic, because you have to walk out with the mic. Right. That's like, it felt like Thor's hammer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, they gave it to me and I was like, no one can touch me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, the power of yeah. it maybe. Yeah. There's got to be a fitness thing that when you have it, the machine, the thing, the thi that you're like, yes. Mm. I so, think it's my pegboard. There know. you go. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm sure it's not. It's very... Oh, the climbing thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You went around it twice as I remember. Yeah. And I was like, cool, what's that machine? Mm. But those little moments all added up. And then the set itself, it was truly me, just me being psyched yeah. that I was there. And you could you could feel it. I never smile. I, I have a, my comedy you got, style. You're an angry comic? I'm comic angry. Guy? You just, you, you, what are you? Furrowing of the brow, gnashing of the teeth, mostly. Stone-faced. Like every photo I see of me doing stand-up, I look like I'm very upset. Like I look like I'm like, like, what are you all doing here? Like I look very, like I, I don't even want to be there. Like it's a very weird, angry vibe. But Tonight Show, like I, I was so happy. They did tell me to smile more. So I did try to remember that. But um, mm. you do it for like the TV and whatever. Right. So it was different, but it was, it was so fun. That's it, I couldn't, it was, and it's over, I did it, I'm like happy with it. So post Tonight Show, yeah. the phone calls, the texts, the emails, the family, the yeah. friends, the, I mean, well, you're just, you know, inundated well, with yes, congrats like, or what? Yes, because mm. now I realize the Tonight Show is a big deal because it's like when people in your past text you, <laughs> you're like, oh, something happened. S Stella from third grade yes. text me. I didn't even know she had my number. For real, yeah, right? for real. It's That's like my great. eighth grade substitute teacher is <laughs> congratulating me. Yes. Like they all watch The Tonight Show. So I have like people from your past. That's when mm. you realize like, oh my God. Because wow. I've done other stuff that I think is cool, but like in mm. the comedy world, it's cool. But I think in the world world, The Tonight Show is like the coolest. I mean, ever since I was a kid, it was it. It's was a it. thing. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. And you know, with different hosts, whatever, but it's like the legacy of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents know what it is. That's how you know that's like yeah. a big deal. So congrats again, ridiculous. Thanks. So let's go back into time, Okay. right? When did it all kind of kick in? Like, when did you know you were the funny girl in school and, and stuff? I think I always knew. It like never you, kicked. You, I mean, I do, you, do you have siblings? I have one older brother. There's an eight year difference. Okay. So we're just, we were always so different. And he's, he's funny too. So are your parents funny? 
Do they have funny in their life? They are funny. There's no nepotism here. There's definitely no like industry insight. Like they did not, they did not encourage or support this wow. until wow. the Tonight Show. They were Keep like, Keep going. <laughs> that looked like there's some success yeah. that could occur from that. Like after that, they're like, oh, maybe you should quit your day job. But um, I always felt funny. I don't think it clicked. I always felt a little, uh, like I liked making people laugh. I mm. liked that I knew how to do it. Mm. Um, you know, you know how rare that is, right? How that's just maybe that's that's probably one in about five thousand people that can do that like that. Can make people laugh. I don't know. I picked that number out of my well, butt, but but it, you don't fact check it. That's true. <laughs> don't no one fact check it, but yes. that is true. One in five thousand and sixteen. Yeah. The I have a, a weird take. I think everyone's funny. Oh. And I mean, every, like everyone is kind of funny. Everyone can laugh. Or quirky or, quirky or can turn a phrase or something like that. They can that. crack, you know, yeah. I don't know if you've ever had a day job, but people at the day job, they love to crack a joke. They love to be the one to like, <laughs> and it's like, so everyone can do it, but I think my want for it is different, maybe. Mm, mm. Yeah, motivation mm. is different. You made kids in grammar school laugh, or was it? did it happen in junior high school, high school, or, or was it just from way, way back? Really young, I remember. Like, I remember just, like, even openly saying that I wanted to make people laugh. Like, as when I was, like, six, I think I said that. Oh, wow. Yeah. In high school, I, I, I can say confidently people would probably remember me as being funny. Oh. People in high school. Was there a class clown? Were you it? I did not win class clown, and it infuriated me. Whoa. My best friend, Erin, won Aaron's it. Erin's not funny. She is funny. Oh. She is funny. But like, I remember wanting to win it and I was pissed that I didn't really? win it. Instead, I won actually best personality. That's probably better. Which is, which More is well-rounded. Which is great. I was like, I wanted class clown. I was really upset. Best personality is great. Like, mm. why not? But I, but I knew, I was like, no, people know me as funny, but um, it clicked young. And my, my brother has a great sense of humor. Um, my parents are funny because I think they're funny because they roast each other. Oh. And I love You it. had that growing up. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It was in the house. Yeah, it was in the house. It was, yeah. Like, my mom will call my dad in Chinese, like, fat, fat ass. <laughs> in Chinese, it sounds much more endearing. How, how do you say it in Chinese? Like, panza. So she would, she would yell at him when he's upstairs when dinner's ready. Panza! Dinner's ready, yeah. but in English, hey, like, ass, it's, hey, fat ass, come eat, you fat ass. <laughs> oh Food's God. on the table, you big fat ass. But, you know, in Chinese, it sounds so much cuter. Oh, so Panza. They, Panza. That's lovely. Panza. That's lovely. I love that. They make fun of each other a lot, which I loved. And I realized, like, I used to make fun of my brother, and I never got reprimanded for that. Oh. So I think that's a thing. They promoted that. that kind of... It would make my parents laugh. aberrant behavior in yeah. the house. Like, I would call my brother ugly. As a joke, you know how you call your siblings ugly fat asses. You know, it's a it's a way. My, my you know I, mean? <laughs> like, I would have gotten in trouble for that one, but I have but, two sisters, so it would have been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, fat ass one and fat ass two. <laughs> I'm sure they would have loved mom's, that. Mom's, mom wants the mom's serving breakfast. Dinner's ready, fat ass. Oh my gosh. But it was. I never got reprimanded for teasing my brother. Like it would make my parents laugh. So I love that. I love getting my parents to laugh. And for me, it was a defense mechanism because I had a speech issue. I had something called cluttering. I would just speak really fast and then yeah. I would kind of, I didn't have much of a vocabulary. I think I had a total of 37 words. I so think I do too. when I right needed more words, I didn't have them. And so I would kind of, okay, I only have so much to pick from. And I would kind of, it wasn't stuttering, it wasn't stammering. It was, it was actually, you know, diagnosed as cluttering. Oh. Yeah. And so, you know, skinny, scrawny, scared. Uh, and so the funny thing I was gonna say, they weren't jokes with setups and, you know, and act outs and punches and tags, yeah. you know, like, but, but they were just a way to, and I was physical. I was, a, you know, I was a goofy yeah. physical kid. So the, my physicality got the laugh too. But yeah. that was my stuff. Did you just do like P90X as a kid while cracking no, jokes? Like, no, 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 Do you no, like parkour all over the classroom? <laughs> just fight from desk yeah. to desk. <laughs> yeah. I'd come in. I do cartwheels <laughs> into my seat. No, keep in mind, not athletic, not yeah. physical. I was a tackling dummy during the week on a football team. Mm -hmm. I never played. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My dad was the super jock. I wasn't. That's all, yeah. all my stuff came in my Later 30s. Later in life. 30s. Same. And, yeah. Yeah. When was your first club? Like, were you doing open mic nights and just doing that whole thing at 11 o'clock at night and you're standing there for four hours? Like, that's what I did. And there's four yeah. people in the audience left and they're all drunk and they're throwing mm -hmm. stuff at you. I mean, yeah. you went through how many years of that? Hell. So I did, I mean, I did that for like four years, five mm. years at least. I did open mics, but I, I 
attribute my like speed of like all this stuff happening to me, this era of open mics is like very efficient. We learned from the days that you did open mics. Oh, well, I'm glad where, I could set the ground. You know, so thank you. Yes. Thank you, Tony is responsible. To do. This, don't do it, Tony. <laughs> no, but like trial and error, everyone knows that that's not efficient. Like if you want to go to an open mic, you had to go sign up 11, 11 p.m. Right. It's only comics in the audience and then no one stays for your set. No one cares. Oh, my God. After their set, they leave. So in this era, I started in L.A., there's a way to sign up for a mic on a website and you get your guaranteed spot. Oh. There's 10 people in one hour. Yeah, there was no such thing as websites when I was doing it, yeah. Oh, right. Did or you the, have internet. the internet? No, there was See, no, we didn't have phones. There was no phones yet. So this is a new era for you. Yeah. So I don't, I honestly don't know how I would have done in that era. Timing's not, everything. I mean, look, your timing was brilliant for I, what was yeah. provided, yeah. Maybe I would have given up. I, I would like to think I wouldn't, but like with the internet, these websites, what kids call them, you go to a website, you sign up for a slot, and you get a confirmed five minute spot. Wow. And But the trick is everyone has to stay for the hour, accountability. No kidding. So you can't- so, Love that. You know what I mean? Because Support of, the other comics yeah. or try, yeah, It's just brilliant. 10 people. You have an hour, so stick for the hour, stay for the hour. Um, everyone stays for your spot. You pay five bucks, but you know. Yeah, whatever. I yeah. make money, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. But um, that, since that was the format, I would do multiple mics a night. Because I oh, could- Oh, all LA. All LA, maybe I'd stay at the same venue, hop to another one, but like knowing that it was efficient, I was like, oh hell yeah, I can go to a mic after work and stick around. So I pretended like it was my job. Like like cool. going to open mics, like make yourself go up like five times a week. What do you get? Three minutes, five minutes on these? The open mics? Yeah. Open mics are five minutes. Five, yeah. Which way to tie it in. You said you have your five minute workout. What? So see what we did. So see, see what I did. Happening. See what I did. Just see what's happening. Now I'm thinking because it's five minutes. I did give it my all right. for real. Right. I didn't realize that until f today. See, <laughs> the to <laughs> the Tony. Horton, we didn't rehearse that. The Horton technique on stage. I do the Horton technique. I should I should trademark that. Yeah. And tell comics. And that way, because it's so condensed, it's like. Set up punch, set up punch, set up. You got to give it as many shots as you can. I was like, there. I only have five minutes. I paid, you know, not a million. I paid to be here. And also like- You still you have the light? The light still comes on? Yeah, two minute light. Or, mm -hmm. or for five minutes, there's one minute light. So they do a light. I try to take advantage of that tiny five minutes. And also like you make life sacrifices. I wasn't going on a lot of dates. Right. I wasn't seeing my friends. I'm right. like, if I'm sacrificing all that got for it. this five got minutes- commit. Yeah. You commit. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So you're running around, you're treating it as a job. Mm -hmm. What was your job? I went to film school in LA, so I wanted to be like a film producer. So mm -hmm. I worked at like a talent agency, a management company. A film company. producer. I like that right here. Right? Yeah. Like I like wanted to be like a, yeah. like a power suit lady. Mm -hmm. I wanted to run a studio and make comedies. Like that's what I wanted oh, to do. Well, that's just a matter of time. We'll see. Right? We'll see. Yeah. I might dip into fitness more. <laughs> but we'll see. So yeah, I had all these like Hollywood assistant jobs that were terrible, oh. terrible. Oh, I had that gig. You did? Brutal. Where? Over at Fox. At, oh the, at the Fox. At Fox lot. A woman by the name of Julia Phillips. Producer. She, she and her husband, John Phillips, uh, produced Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yeah. The Taxi Driver with De Niro. <gasps> And this thing with Red, Red Paul. So Nina. they were big time. Big time. Did you but love it? But they had separated. No, no, it was brutal. I got fired every Friday because I forgot to change so the light So then what bulb. happened on Monday? You just showed up again? On, on Sunday night. Persistent. Uh, her, on Sunday night, her, her partner called, you're not fired. You? <laughs> come in, come in and do it. It's just so sketchy. But then you committed to that job. You would still show up? I did it for two and a half years, driving mm -hmm. all over town, delivering scripts. I and did that too. Coffee and I, I drove scripts. Like to Channing Tatum's house, oh. to Jake Gyllenhaal's house, oh. Halle Berry once. Oh. I delivered something to Halle Berry. And oh. also she opened the door. And I was like, just so you know, I'm safe, but you need to not open your door, Halle <laughs> right, Berry. Right, like, right. I'm not going to attack you. And she's like, right. well, I kind of think you're going to attack me now. But like, mm -hmm. so I did that. I did that stuff too. The Hollywood assistant thing. Yeah. I loved and hated it. And then I, I loved it because I could go on auditions. They let me go on auditions. Oh, they did? Yeah, they did. I said, hey, look, oh, that's I, amazing. I'm amazing. Yeah, they were very cool. But I said, as long as you get the work done. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. so I, I was working till 8.30 at night, 9 o'clock at night. So was I, yeah. yeah. It was all day, all night, underpaid. I couldn't mm. afford a nice salad. I ate <laughs> potato chips for lunch. Uh, I couldn't I lived anything. on power bars all day. Ooh. Which, which were just, like, after a while. No, it's know, not, not a long those, term. Three of those <laughs> five <laughs> Oh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Goodbye, digestive okay. tract. You know? I know. The comedy thing, you're there. That's where you're going now. Mm -hmm. You're on that ride. You've, you've got your tour coming up. 
You've got a Netflix special coming out. Mm -hmm. You already shot that, mm -hmm. right? Yep. What uh, verified stand-up? It's called verified stand-up. Tell it's me more be about out, that. Uh, it's going to be out on the 28th, November. It's a 10-minute set. Is it special, though? I think it's special. Mm. But, you know, like, everyone's got a special. But this format was 10 comics. The lineup is, is very good. 10 comics, and we all did 10 minutes. Oh, so okay. all together, I think it's like I, they formatted it like two hours on Netflix. But um, it's I think it's replicating, like, a, if you go to the comedy store, Laugh Factory, yeah. or the yeah, yeah. Yeah. you see a ton of comics back to back. It's, it's like replicating a good night. A good standard. night at a club. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. So where, where, where are you in the lineup? Is it they're going to edit it? So? so I don't know yet. It's going to come out in two weeks, in about a week. And you know what? I'll go wherever. You've been on Fallon, baby. Know, you don't care at this stage. It's like, whatever. I don't care if they put it on with, like, Puppy Patrol or whatever. <laughs> I don't care if it's on the kids' channel. Right. Just put it on there. Right. But I'm somewhere. So um, I can't believe that happened this year. Yeah, wow. I really... So this all happened, what, this, like... This year. One year. Like this... 2023. A lot of people, 2023 sucked! 2023 For was you. A, it was a good year. Rocked. It was a good year. It's so fun. Things right. happened where my parents were like, oh, like, I know what Netflix is. I know what Jimmy Fallon, like, Tonight Show is. So I guess uh, hmm. I should keep going. And you're headlining on a tour, national tour. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, you're the headliner. Headliner, that means an hour of stand-up. That's why I need stamina. That's why I need to work out. I know a guy. Do you? I know a guy. Okay, let me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we, we'll talk more. <laughs> yeah. So, so do you have all your cities picked out and everything yet? or what? A lot of cities are confirmed. It's a lot of fun, like East Coast and then going to like Atlanta, uh, Texas. But 99.9 .9 clubs you've never been in before. 100%. Audiences that you've never... South. Eat northeast. Do you yeah. feel like you have to tailor it a little bit for for, or you think you're, I don't because it's to. pretty universal. I mean, watching oh, it tonight, it's it's like your parents would love it, folks from the south would love it. Hopefully, folks, folks from New York City. Hopefully, I don't want to tailor at all because that's like the whole cute magical thing about comedy is like if it's good, anyone will laugh. Right. Like we love Sebastian right. and Jerry and all these first name basis. Sebastian and Jerry. Jerry Seinfeld. We, <laughs> Jer, 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 Jer. You yeah. know Jer. We love Jer. We're tight. You yeah. and Jer. Never um, met him. He but... will never know me. But um, oh, it's time. It's gone. <sighs> but that's the the cute stuff I love about stand up and the stuff I watched growing up is like I always found it weird that like an old grumpy married man could make me laugh. Right. So I love that. Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Grumpy. Jim Gaffigan. Love. Oh. Love. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So for whatever yeah, we have similar tastes in, in yeah. comics. Bill Burr. Yeah. I love. Yeah. So it's yeah. like all these old grumpy married men, for whatever reason, like they got, I, they got me. Yeah. They made me laugh. Yeah. It worked on me. Yeah. So for me, I would hope that I could get them back. What do you think? You know, I mean, look, 2023, I, I would assume that if you stay off the crack and the hooch. It's my goal. <laughs> right? It's my goal. I've been, and, I've been and, good uh, so far. And nothing too illicit. Yeah. Right? You stay in the straight and narrow. What are your big time aspirations to actually direct? And the process is, you know, Movies and etc. Yeah. Yeah, like I always want to do stand up, mm. so I think I want to do this until I physically can't stand anymore. <laughs> like Sebastian is yeah. doing it. Yeah. And I think S sit up. You maybe <laughs> sit up. So stand up because you can't sit stand up comedy. anymore. Sit up comedy. Yeah, no. I'm here all week. <laughs> I mean, that's Tony trying to be funny. I feel sorry for me. Oh God. But I'm making you laugh, and that's good. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Thank you. But um, goal is to always do stand up and get really good. Yeah. Get as good as I think I can be. That's kind of it. Yeah. I want to do everything. I'm, I'm, people keep telling me that I'm a performer and writer. Oh. That I'm like, oh, okay. I guess I forgot that. So, like, obviously you see stand ups in movies because mm. they perform. So, I love Sandler and Jim Carrey because right. I'm a 90s kid. So, I grew up on that. Right, right. Um, I don't intend to parlay this into a movie career. I will do movies, I'd love to. If those things come to me and it's cool with people that I would like lose my mind to work with, right. yeah. yeah. Other than that, like I still wanna be a stand-up, be known as a stand-up, um, but I'd love to write, act, direct whenever that comes. When that comes. When it comes naturally. Do what you do, you're loving what you're loving. This yeah. tour is gonna be the experience of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be tired. But you'll I'm be doing that little five-minute workout in the morning. I before. swear I'm going to do it. Yeah. In the hotel. In the hotel or backstage or wherever, wherever you, it feels appropriate. Because yeah. being on the road is going to be, you know, there's gyms and hotels, but, like, it's hard to find the motivation at, like, a, yeah. you know, yeah. a baby little gym. But, but, you know, you know your reason why now. It's not for aesthetics yes. and ego. It's for 
the quality of the work, to upgrading yeah. the quality of the work. It really, it's game changing. Yeah. I mean, as yeah. a 65 year old, and I'll say that every time just because I think I look 61 or a little <laughs> bit younger, maybe, I don't know. Honestly, 40s. You are the best. <laughs> You're the best. Check in the mail for you, all the way. <laughs> it's that easy. You know, I mean, just but like, I look a little younger than I am, yeah. but I feel vibrant and alive and awake and yeah. alert and, and sharp. Your brain feels young. My brain, blah, just yeah. 100 miles an hour. You know, yeah. I don't need four bucks, buckets of coffee. I, you know, I just yeah. do a couple of sun salutations or I do a five minute yeah. routine that you did. You're going to wake do, me up. That she already did. One of the two. Yeah. Are you a coffee drinker? No. Because you don't need it. No. Yeah. I mean, I do pre-workout stuff. Our Power Life formulation has- I have to try that. It's the it's fun. It's a pre-workout. Well, it's everything. There's a protein, there's whey, love, there's plants, love, there's all love. of it, all of it, all of it. And by the way, I created this product because I got really sick in 2017. I got mm -hmm. something called Ramsey Hunt Syndrome, me and Justin Bieber. It's right, very rare. Right. Like one in a hundred thousand people who get it shingles. It hits the most talented people. Well, that's what me it has and Justin come. are just like yeah. the same. There's everybody no. else. Oh, yes. We're here, like one and two, always fighting. <laughs> I lost 25 pounds. My digestive tract was garbage. And I just, you know, and I, I thought I was doing everything right, but I wasn't dealing with my stress. Right, my stress. Stress ruins everything. Yeah, it really does. And, and it's this yeah. thing that's so amorphous. You can't touch it, feel it, smell it, whatever. It's just this there. And you, you're it. under it, and you don't realize until you get, you know, until you have a stroke. It can make or you, you have sick. A I had shingles in my brain. Yeah. You don't want it there. Yeah. It no. affects your sight, your smell, your taste, and your balance. Yeah. So I would turn my head, and my and my brain would go. I can't oh catch God. up. It was horrible. Yeah. So these formulations are life changing, and there are people, you know that are just loving it and seeing the same kind of results I saw. Yeah. And you will too, you're gonna I'm gonna, I'm so You gotta down. take it on the road with you. I will, I will. And, and uh, Throw it in a water, try to, yeah. Shaker bottle. Yeah. Or so shake down. weight. I need stuff like that on the road, like something to keep yeah. me healthy. Cause exactly. It's, I mean, a lot of them are powder. There's some that are they're in pill form. The, the endurance okay. is gold, especially yeah. about a half hour before you go on stage. Yeah. And it's not, mm, it's not like coffee or anything. It's not yeah. this jittery stuff. Cause I do like coffee. Should I not mix it in coffee? Don't put it in coffee. Is that not recommended? So you can have your coffee separately. Okay. And then put it in water. Okay. Or some kind of like oat milk or... Can I mix or, it in ice cream? That wouldn't be good. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, try it and let you know. Yeah. Sprinkle it on ice cream. Okay. I, want, I want to see video of that. I will. I'll tag you on... Because we love social media. I'll tag you on one I of the... Know. Whatever the I things. don't know what that means. But I'm, I'll be... <laughs> he doesn't I, like, know what I tagging on social media means. You're a blessing. You're lovely. You're Thanks. amazing. And I, thank you, you for doing this for us. Thank you. Um, I'm so yeah. excited for you. I can't wait for you to be my best friend. I'm going to be one of your buddies that shows up here. Well, the, the debut is Wednesday nights. Wednesday night okay. plyometrics. It's a leg. It's like a little bit of hopping, jumping, lunging, whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's all of us out in the side yard. Is it an evening thing or a morning it's thing? It's an evening thing. It's a 5.30 evening thing. So I don't know how that works. I could works. squeeze it in before a show. Yeah, And then maybe. I'll be jacked before a show. Yeah, it's just complete. And or, I'll be sweaty and jacked. <laughs> or you'll be crippled. I'm not sure which. Yeah, everyone will be very confused. You'll, you'll need me. a walker to get out on stage. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? What happened? She's... Anyway, thank you but Thank so you. Much. Thank really, you so much. Terrific. Well, I hope you'd love this episode because if you did, that means you're very smart. So make sure to check out the next one right here. Mm. And they're like, oh, mom, yeah, tell that. Remember that? Oh, wow. So they yeah. encourage you now. Yeah. And Chuck Morgan, people say, does your husband mind you talking about him? I go, no. He says, you need to tell him that. Tell him about the time I got arrested. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. So.